What's up YouTube and other people out there in the internet? My name is Jordan and uh, this is another one of those Jordan's Gear Corners or what's on my pedal board, whatever you want to call it. You know, maybe I should do amps and guitars at some point. But anyways, uh, speaking of pedal boards, this is my brand new Salvage Custom pedal board and I have to say I am thoroughly pleased with this. Uh, I contacted Daniel from uh, Salvage Custom about doing a racing stripe around a black tall X uh, case and board and he was up for the challenge and this is what it is. This thing's amazing. So here's the case, obviously outer case and the board actually folds into it. Uh, we have these hinges here, these locking hinges. Uh, I'll show you in a second but the board uh, hooks into here. And these two butterfly latches right now. Get these out. Go ahead and open this up and the case. Come on. Maybe I should, oh, we gotta move those out of the way. And the case, it's really snug in there. Folds out just like this. And then you go ahead and pop the board off of the back hinges. So as you can see, just a nice uh, fold in case. Uh, that white racing strip goes all the way around. Just, it's just incredible. So I'll put this aside, uh, and here's the board. And I, uh, like I say, I I cannot get a, say enough praise about uh, about this board and, and Salvage Custom and what they make. Uh, this is a 16 by 28 pedal board, uh, which is a, which is a size that they don't even offer. I asked I asked Daniel and his team um, if they do custom sizes or anything, and he said yeah, and they didn't even charge me extra for it, which some places would. Uh, let's go and take a look at some features. Uh, first of all, uh, it's a Velcro top with uh, with the slatted uh, parts right here to run cables. I personally got sick and tired of having to drill holes and route cables under a board all the time. And uh, I wanted to go with a slatted system and uh, the Salvage Custom offers that, and uh, which is just awesome. Um, so as you can see here again, just that white racing stripe goes all the way around. Um, the other thing is, if you probably just saw, it's covered bottom. And that was actually one feature I really wanted. And uh, this is just a standard feature. The bottom is covered, um, which for me, I think is better to protect all the cables and the power supply that's, that's hanging out down in here. And uh, there's four screws right here in the corners uh, that hold the top in place. You actually access um, underneath the board by taking the top off, and I already took the time to, to remove those. And as you can see underneath, um, this is uh, just the space where you, could, you can mount power supplies and whatnot. I had uh, I had two jacks and power on the right side, um, and I'll show you that in a second. But some lava cable leads that are soldered to them, and then here is an IEC uh, female power adapter to hook into a Voodoo Labs. Just awesome setup and also with no extra charge um, there's a switch right here that uh, you can use to turn on and off your power supply without having to you know just pull out the cable or or open this thing up and unhook it from there you can just turn it on and off which I th again didn't cost extra it was just included and here's the side uh, just a standard input output jacks these are not neutral locking jacks and I know some people prefer those but uh, you know, this, these are still really good, and you know, I have to agree with Salvage Custom and what I read from them recently. If you're running around on stage uh, that much that you're going to be pulling that hard on your board and you need locking jacks, um, you're probably going to cause more damage than you think to your setup. Uh, and here's the uh, the IEC power, uh, the male end right here, just perfectly flush against that black Tolex, just beautiful. Uh, handles, um, you know, again, standard feature. This is something that I know most places would, would charge extra for. And uh, overall, I'm just, like I say, i thoroughly pleased with this. I fully support and endorse uh, Salvage Custom and what they're doing. Daniel is a great guy to work with and to communicate with and, and uh, I've seen some pictures of other boards that he and his team have been working on and they're just incredible. I mean if you if you dream up the board and you tell them what you're looking for they have no problem uh, going after that. 
I can't wait to put pedals on here. Just want to show you this thing first. Next time I see you again, I'll have I'll have some toys over here. As you can see, I got some JHS, a Strymon, a Walrus, Voyager, and some other cool stuff over there to put on this board. So I'll have I'll have pedals and things on here. I just show you what it all looks like all hooked in. But I just wanted to show you uh, this this amazing board by Salvage Custom. I'm sure we'll put the Put the website down at the bottom of the video and you can check them out salvagecustom.com look them up check them out support them good guys this is jordan from lucrezio and uh thanks for hanging out with me